Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to look at how much cleaning a guinea pig cage actually takes on an average day and give you some tips to help ensure your own cages stay looking spotless. Now I get a lot of comments on my own guinea pig's cage saying why does it always look so clean and beside the obvious there are various techniques that I use to help it stay looking clean pretty much all of the time. So no more huge piles of poop, stained cages, lingering smells and sad looking piggies with dirty bottoms. Also, if you're new here and perhaps you're also new to guinea pigs and you want to learn more about caring for them and keeping them, then do hit that subscribe button below for lots of guinea pig content. So here are the piggies getting on with breakfast already. There's Roxy and Lyra hanging out under the hammock there. There's Phoebe enjoying a bit of hay. And of course, out here we have Pedro who had just come to say hello and now he's turning the other way. How are you doing this morning? Hey? Oh yeah, give me the tickles. Oh, watch out, there's a camera there. And one of the first things I do in the morning is a quick poop inspection to see what damage has been done overnight. And I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It's not looking that bad. So my first tip for you is to really have as big as a cage as possible. With a big cage, it's easy to think that piggies will just do the same amount of poop and just distribute it more. But actually, I found that they are more likely to choose specific toilet areas and leave the rest of the cage not looking so bad. You're always gonna get some stray poops, but at least the poop and pee is most are concentrated to certain areas and of course there are lots of other benefits to having a big cage as well. You've got happier guinea pigs that get more exercise so they're healthier and often having a big cage is easier with bonding social groups and having more guinea pigs and why wouldn't anyone want more piggies let's be honest. But back to the cleaning and what I tend to do in the morning is a quick spot clean just with a dustpan and brush which brings us nicely onto the second tip which is spot cleaning. We've usually got to head off to work or school in the morning and it might feel like a pain to have to do this but spot cleaning is basically just that. It's cleaning quickly and focusing on certain areas of the cage without doing a full big clean. For me this is emptying poops out of beds and sweeping up over the rest of the fleece. I just use a dustpan and brush. Some people have used vacuums but you need to get the balance right so you don't hoover up literally everything apart from the guinea pigs. I'm yet to find one that works for me but if you use a vacuum for spot cleaning then do let us know in the comments below. I also find that with sweeping brushes they can be a bit annoying when they're very new because they can catch on the fleece easily. As they get older and a bit more clogged up with hair and stuff and the brushes are sort of less sharp then it tends to actually be easier to sweep away the hay and the poops. There's also a bit of a technique to it as well and my advice is to go lighter than you think you need to and don't press too hard down on the fleece when you're brushing it. That is looking so much better and for the sake of a couple of of minutes in the morning it is so worth it to have everything looking nice and clean again and I think the piggies appreciate it too. is to find the right bedding that works for you. Now, as you've seen, I use fleece in my cage, but I'm not about to say that everyone should start using fleece. Other natural paper-based beddings and wood shavings can work really well with spot cleaning. It just might require a little bit more effort if you have to say completely remove damp patches and then replace the bedding in that area. Also, it can be more costly if you have a big cage and a lot of surface area to cover. This was actually the main reason why I transitioned to fleece and since then, I've found more ways to make it work for me and the piggies. So if you haven't tried it yet then I really recommend giving fleece a go. The way it works is to have an absorbent layer underneath to soak up the pee and then the fleece itself actually stays nice and dry on top. With pre-made liners you've got all those materials sewn together but you can start out by just picking up some cheap fleece throws and folding them over some old towels. This is what I did for years before I started sewing my own liners. But if you are into sewing and you want to jump ahead and make your own cake liners then I will put my tutorial video on this in the description below. And I also find fleece works because it's not necessarily a natural material that guinea pigs are inclined to pee and poo on. If given the option they will prefer to go somewhere else which is what we'll get onto in a minute. In the meantime if you do have the luxury of being at home you can do a bit of spot cleaning throughout the day. I usually pop in to visit the piggies if I'm working from home and I'll take the opportunity to do a super quick sweep. This just keeps 
things looking nice and saves me more effort later in the day. Tip number four is to provide a litter tray. This is what I meant by providing a contrasting natural substrate that the piggies are more inclined to toilet on rather than the fleece. And things that make a good litter tray are having a big enough area for multiple piggies and having hay in there. So as we know, guinea pigs need to have unlimited hay every day as it is the most important part of their diet. And unfortunately, guinea pigs often poo and pee where they eat. There is just no getting around that. So by having a litter tray containing their hay that we clean out every day and keep topped up with fresh hay, we're keeping the overall cage cleaner and concentrating the mess in one area that is easier to clean out than the whole cage. So I clean out my piggy's litter tray once a day, just rolling up the newspaper and soiled hay, giving it a good spray down with my disinfectant spray, and then putting new layers of newspaper and fresh hay in there for them. With a bit of spot cleaning at the same time, it takes somewhere between five and 10 minutes. And the litter tray I use is actually an underbed storage box, which as you can see is quite sizable. They do need to be quite big, even for two piggies, so that they can share nicely. Because let's face it, our guinea pigs definitely have a selfish streak. So those plastic corner ones, or even the small rectangular ones that you might see in pet shops aren't really big enough. If you can find something like this, a shallow storage box that you can cut entrances in easily, then do pick one up for your piggies and do give the litter tray idea a go especially if you have a big cage and the hay and poops are just getting everywhere and you're finding it difficult to manage. Another thing I do to keep the cage clean is to use fleece pads in what I call the pee hotspots. So with four piggies, I still only change the big liner out once a week maximum, sometimes only once a fortnight, but I change out the fleece pads more often, every three days or so, basically whenever they start looking a bit grimy. When I'm spot cleaning, I'll look and see whether any pads need changing and if if they do, I'll shake off the dirty ones, pop them in pillowcases to be washed and replace them with fresh, clean new ones. It's amazing the difference this can make to your cage and it's only one small load of washing compared to cleaning a big liner, which can be pretty awkward to get dry. For us, hotspots tend to be under the hidey houses, dirty drip marks from the water bottle and any pads that we have in the beds. So if you use fleece and find yourself washing the liners a lot, then try using some fleece pads. Ideally waterproof ones if you want to stop the fleas soaking through. You can pick up pads online or you can make your own using the video that I'll link down in the description. Tip number six is less about the mess itself but potential smells that you might get. And firstly, guinea pigs themselves shouldn't smell. They are very clean animals, they wash themselves and unless they've got long hair which has become saturated with pee, they themselves shouldn't smell. If you're getting smells from the cage then in my experience it's when I need to clean out the cage. So if you don't clean out the cage every day or at least do some level of spot cleaning every day then you're probably not cleaning enough because they do create a lot of mess. The other thing I have a bad habit of is leaving the bin bag in the room and sometimes it's just that that smells and as soon as I take it outside then problem solved. Some people do find that the fleece can smell and I haven't really had this myself unless I hold it right up to my nose and sniff really hard then I can smell a little bit of like lingering urine in smell but I don't notice it enough when I'm in the house or when I'm in the room and I do spend a lot of time in here. So it might be that different fleeces vary. Some people use vinegar in the wash when they wash their fleece and that's meant to help. Or if you keep noticing smells what you could do is invest in an air purifier. I got one of these the other year and it is really good. I use it for dust more than smells but I pop it on when I'm cleaning the guinea pig's cage and you can noticeably tell that the air is fresher in the room. And I don't use it every day just when I think the room needs a little pick me up. So you could get one of them. They are very cheap these days and I'll pop the link to the one I have in my Amazon storefront links below. So that is everything for this video guys. Roxy has come to say bye. She doesn't look amused at all. Why is it sweet? <laughs> Bless her. So I hope you enjoyed hearing all the tips for helping keep your cage nice and clean and spotless. And if you do put any into action then do let me know in the comments below. But other than that thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye!